Hello guys, let's discuss this problem on volume of cuboids. Here this problem says water in a canal which is 30 decimeter wide and 1.2 meter deep is flowing with the velocity of 100 km per hour. How much area will it irrigate in 30 minutes if 8 cm of standing water is desired? This statement may seem very complicated but it is actually very easy. First of all, you need to focus on the units given to you. Here, the wideness of this canal is 30 decimeter, which you need to convert into meters first. Here, the depthness of this has already been given into meters. You know the flow of water, which is with the rate of 100 km per hour. And you need to know the area or the field irrigated in 30 minutes using this volume of water contained in the canal. So first of all, what you have to do in this problem, you need to calculate the volume of the water contained in a canal. And you will be using that water in the fields to irrigate that field. So first of all, how you will calculate the volume of this water? Let's see. Volume of the water in a canal, which is length into breadth into height. You know the wideness, you know the depth, but you don't know the length. Let's suppose this is a canal here and water is flowing like this. You need to know this length. You can easily know. You know that you need to calculate this length along the flow of the water. How will you calculate? You know the velocity, you know the time, you can easily calculate the distance covered by this water and that distance covered will be the length of this flow of water. Now, let's calculate this length which will be V into T. You know that this velocity is in kilometer per hour and here time given is in minutes. So, you will convert the time unit into hours and you will convert the kilometer unit into meters. So this is 100 into 1000 meters, in hour there are 60 minutes and 30 minutes. After evaluation you will get length as 50,000 meter. Now let's use this value here in this expression what you will get 50,000 into 3 meter into 1.2 because you know that this wideness is in decimeter. So when you multiply the 30 with 0 0.1, you'll get 3 meter into 1.2. So this is the volume of the water you will be, you'll be using to irrigate the field. So now let's write down area of field irrigated. Area of field irrigated using this much volume of water you know the area of field irrigated and you know in this area standing water, depth of standing water or you may say height of standing water is 8 cm. So you will convert this unit into meters first. So this will be the volume of water present in the field. And you know that if you are using all of the volume of the water into, into to irrigate the field then you are not losing water anywhere volume of the water will remain constant. So here this whole volume of the water will be allotted to this area is to this field. So that's why I'll equate this with this much volume of water. So here let's suppose this is A. So what will be the value of A? This will be 50,000 into 3 into 1.2 into 100 divided by 8. After cancellation, you will be getting this much meter square, this much square, meter square as the area of the field irrigated. I really hope you should not have any doubt in this solution. I will be taking more problems in the coming video lectures. Thank you.